Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to the Real Valley. I know I said we will be trying out the Steam logo this time because we have enough money from the last episode by doing the some certain jobs. We have twenty three thousand actually, but um, bad thing is we are over at the oil refinery, the oil well central. And uh, we need to go to Harbor Town, I think. I think that's where the Steam Loco is. So I was thinking, if we're going to go there anyway, and if we need to go there anyway, might as well take you with me. And we could try and uh, take on some jobs so we uh, earn both ways of the trip, right? I actually saw there are two new jobs that uh, take us to Harbor in Town with three cars each delivering crude oil. I'm not sure if our shunter can do the trick, if it can handle that, but we can try. We can try. Let's take two jobs. Let's see if this works. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's be brave. Yeah, let's be brave. O zero four. Um, hmm. Is that O zero five? No. It's a bit confusing. O05, okay, this one. O05 is this one. Okay, so we load basically that one and the other one is O04. Okay, loading three cars each. O04 and O05, so these two. That's three cars, that's three cars, so we... And then we should be heading east, right? And this is facing west, crap. Okay, so we should be maybe facing this way. Right? Yeah, facing this way. Okay. So we face this way. Um, let's have a look at our shunter. Where the heck is it anyway? There it is. So it is uh, facing east at least. How do you turn it around if it isn't? Are we facing east? No, we're facing west. Oh, dang it. Okay, so how do we... Well, I guess we can go west, but we have to circle all the way around. How do you normally go around here? How do you make a U-turn with the train? Shouldn't there be like tracks which can rotate or something? I don't, I'm not sure if that's implemented in game. But okay, okay. If that's the case, then we travel west. We circle all the way around. Uh, maybe I can plop that down and I can point to it. So we go to from the west. We go south like this. We go east like that. And then we go and circle and go to harbor in town from there like this. Oh man, that sounds very bad. Seems like a long trip. Looks exciting though, that view looks exciting. Okay, let's try, let's try. Also, there's been an update since the last episode. We can now leave in stuff in the train, I think, without them disappearing. So if we go there and if we go outside, yeah, you see, my inventory is still empty and the map is still in the train. That's perfect. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Perfect. Okay. Anyway, so uh, how do we make a U-turn, guys? How do we make a U-turn? Let's have a look at the station map if there is something which can save us. Oil well thingy. Oil well north, oil well central, I guess. Yes. Oil well central it is. Uh... Yeah, I think we can only go west here. Okay, <clears throat> is there something like a circling place somewhere? Is that a thing? No, okay, let's just go west then. All right, let's do this. Let us turn on the engine. I really love these, being able to flick switches like that. Cab light. Headlights because we're moving. Fan because it's hot. Everything is good. Brake pipe, fuel, oil. I think that resets, huh? Seems like it. Brake pipe is not very good, I think. But hopefully that's just temporary. Let's go. Direction forward. Let me try my hotkeys again. Okay, that's the throttle. That, that, those are the brakes. Remove the brakes. Move forward. Is it just me or the or the headlights much more pronounced now? Wait a minute. 
Yeah, I think they're more pronounced now. Maybe they changed something in the graphics. Okay, so let's put the station map there as well. We need that. We are currently, I don't know, somewhere in the middle probably. But uh, basically we go straight. Why is that moving bit by bit? We go straight until we encounter the junctions. And I think I can go much faster this time. Okay, what is that? Let's have a look. They're actually S02 is the, the one we're right next to. S02. Oh yeah, that's near the end. Okay, just go near the end there and see where how we find ourselves in uh, 005 and 004. Maybe we start in 004 first. That will be more in line. And then we go to 005 and then we exit to the west. That's 005. That's 004 actually. So I think maybe we can stop here. Break. Break. Thank you. So what we can do is we can change that so that when we go back, move the brakes, but first put that into reverse, go back. This time we'll stra go straight into 004, something like that. And this time we can go faster, Barry actually told me he goes like 60 miles. Or was it 50 without a problem so maybe we can go faster let's try it and if it fails uh, at least we'll get to harbor in town somehow <laughs> and then we'll buy the steam loco but the focus here is really speed and I, i'll try not to be as afraid break There we go, just let that flow through. Perfect. We are in range. Let me double check first that that is what we are looking for. Uh, FH01, is that? Okay, 004. Call 003, 004, and 005. Is that it? Yes, confirmed. Okay, good. All right, we are good couple that there we go and move forward pulling them let's have a look outside yes we are that's working that's working all right let's attach one more six cars shouldn't be a problem famous last words <laughs> We can do this. Believe. Believe. Okay, the brakes are working now. You can see the... Uh, is that pressure? I guess that's pressure. Pressure has built up nicely. Put a bit of brakes in. We do need to go onto that other side there. Over here, I think, on this side. Is that right? Is that 005? Yeah, okay. So we go straight a bit. We make sure that the cars at the back go beyond here. Is that okay? Yeah, that's actually way beyond already. Stop. Okay, let me see. I think that's the one we need. Go left. Thank you. And now we go back. Now here, I think I have to go a bit slower. Because... When you're going back like that, experience has taught me that... Uh, you can derail much faster. it bit by bit okay everything good yes we are headed to 005 now perfect bit of 
grinding there. It's fine. From in here? Actually, it's hard to see. Let me go outside. Yeah, we're headed straight on to the cars here. Um, quite a ways off still. We can actually go a bit faster. Let's cruise along here. Slow down. I'm trying, trying to keep it a bit more realistic. So maybe I shouldn't teleport so much, but sometimes that's the only way. Okay, I'm going to look at the shadows instead. That should be an acceptable speed for coupling, right? 10 kilometers per hour? Okay, maybe slow it down a little bit more. There we go. Any second now? There we go. Okay, perfect. I love how... Did you notice? I love how it uh, actually like... The braking affected one car at a time. That one you can see the stopping happening per car and finally pushing to the loco. It's very realistic. I like that. Okay, good. That's 04. That's 05. That's called 789. Alright, that's seven, that's eight, and that's nine. Alright, perfect. That's it. That's the right one. Look at that long train. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, let's put that in range. Everything is connected. Let's move forward and go. Well, let's remove the brakes. Let's see if we can handle this much. Pull. Pull, people. Pull. Um, something seems wrong there. <laughs> Why is that like that? That seems wrong. Maybe there, there's some bugs here. That shouldn't be how it looks like, right? Am I... Hey, look at that! <laughs> okay, maybe if we slow down a little, it will catch up. Mm. No clue, but it seems wrong. Seems like that's not, not coupled correctly, but it should be. Okay, that's closing in. But I think when you go faster, the inertia is like, like getting left behind. There's some kind of like magic string attaching them together. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just go speed up and see if Barry's theory is correct. If it's not, we can all blame Barry, okay? If it's not true that we can go up to 60 kilometers per hour without having trouble. Okay, let's go here. Let's try to speed it up. I wonder when the time starts with the job. Is that does that start the moment you pick up the 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 card? Not really sure. That seems unfair, isn't it? Let me also get that one can hide that here so we can focus on the map itself. Let's place that correctly like so. We'll be coming across a junction where we should be turning left, but that won't be for a while still. Good, so we can go and enjoy ourselves here. Maybe we can find some photo, photo perfect moments again, maybe later. In, if there's a cliff, I'll go up and uh, <laughs> try to take a nice photo at the risk of falling, crashing below and whatnot. Okay, here we are. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Here comes the first test. The first test is the first junction. Maybe for the first type of test, I keep it at 40. I'm, I'm scared, to be honest. I'm 
I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm going to slow it down a bit. Because I have a feeling that it's going to derail at any moment. And that is wrong. Please switch. Yeah, there we go. Go to the left instead. Slow down. This junction might be a bit more tricky than normal. There we go. Okay, that should be okay. Uh-huh. It's more like it. And as we go, we can speed up. On to 60! Or not. We'll see. Okay, let's push it. Good. Alright. <laughs> uh, I'm very scared here. I think this is a blooper episode in the making. But we have to we have to start somewhere, right? We have to start somewhere. So we push it. We do our best. And we see what we see. I think we can increase the throttle a bit more. Engine temperatures are okay. There's climbing just a bit though. Well within the healthy range though, so we're fine. Man, that looks super good. Doesn't it? The longer trains look much better than the shorter ones. It looks more pro. That's a bit bumpy there. Might need to slow down a bit to 30. If you look at that zigzag tracks coming up ahead. Maybe we'll have to uh, take it a bit easier. Should I? Okay, let's take the 30. Just for this very sharp bends. This look amazing from this view though. Yeah, there you go. That shouldn't be bad though, I think. Yeah, 40 should still be good. Temperatures are climbing steadily though. Okay, maybe this is a good time to go to idle. I put make that excuse that we need to pull down the engine. But truthfully, I'm just afraid. And I want to slow down. Oh, that sounds not very good. Did you guys hear that? I think we were like at the point of derailing there. Okay, I'm going to stick it to 20 on these bends. So far, so good. Okay. And while that's cooking, let me try to take a photo from a nice angle here. Somewhere from above like that might work. Oh yeah, that would be good. That would be amazing. Look at that view, guys. Over here. I think that's a good enough angle. Showing the tracks here. Showing the train coming up. Although it seems like we're going very slow. Are you okay, guys? Oh crap. Too much sightseeing. Okay, there we go. Where was that nice angle from a while ago? I think it was this one. Doesn't look that good anymore. I think we can make it work. Okay, fine. Let me go inside. We'll, we'll for sure find some other cool stuff. I think I really have to focus on the job itself. least 20 should work. You have to keep the momentum going. Oil feel good. Temperatures are fine. Pressure is nice. No need sand at the moment, but uh, kind of scared with all that squeaking. I think I just have to get used to it. Okay. Just bad.
balancing the throttle here. You can hear the engine actually really growling and trying to contest with the gray, with the with the tracks. Come on, you can do better than that. Go for it. All right, that's more like it. I think after this bend we can speed up because that looks like a straight road up ahead. After we do that final bend over there, actually I can start speeding up already. That should be good. 30 should be fine here. After we cross there, I'll try to go to 60. If I'm brave enough that is. Oh no, that sounds bad. <laughs> I'm really scared, guys. Should I push it? Let's do it. Let's be brave. We have to uh, test our limits. Test the train's limits, that is. <gasps> Let's take a photo from there. Here, the top. Does that work? Doesn't work. How about that one there? That can be a nice view. Right there. <laughs> Look at that, we're at 50 now. We're at 50 now. Let me go to idle. It's going a bit too fast than what I like. 60 is the absolute maximum I would go. Let's put a bit of brakes there. Oh crap, am I going to go the wrong way? I think we just went the wrong way, guys. <laughs> oh, MJ! Yes, we, we get, I, I think I enjoyed it a bit too much. How do we go to that right one? I think we can't. Unless I go reverse here. I think we go need to reverse here. Hmm. We have to think, we have to think. Yeah, I have to reverse and then turn left instead. Yeah, that went by so fast. I wasn't used to traveling that quick. Okay, let's do this. Reverse, remove brakes, and go. Although now, we really need to slow it down because... Will that even move if I do it like that? It's, it's budging. Brakes are off, right? Yeah, I think it doesn't, want e it doesn't even want to move. That's super heavy. There we go. That's building up. I think if it's like 20 kilometers per hour, it should be okay. Beep, 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 beep. Floating tracks for the wind. Crap, crap, crap. A little bit of sand. Okay, there we go helps with the wheel slip. Okay, let's keep that 20. Just balancing it out. Practically driving blind here. I'm hoping there's only one way to go anyway. What are we doing? We're moving, that's a good thing. Let's keep it at 20. Well, we can say goodbye to our time bonus now, huh? <laughs> Don't think that's going to work. Yeah, that should be okay. Keep it at 20. We are 
closely approaching the junction. Yeah, that's where we should have turned left. We are there. That's good. Yeah, we're still at 20. Should be healthy. Okay, there we go. I think I can go to idle now. Just let it flow through. And then we break in a bit. Good thing there are no other trains here. We can basically hoard the track. Imagine doing that in real life. I missed my turn. Can I go back? Okay. Junction remote. Change that. That's what I should have done. We'll stop. We are good to go. Put that forward. Remove that. And we move forward now this time. It's more like it. That's more like it. We still have our trains, right? Yes, we still have our cars here. Now we are moving left. Okay, we're good. And then how can I make this quicker? Do I go left or right around the mountain? That looks very scary, actually. I don't think I want to take that. I think I want to go that same route as before. So the next junction I turn left. Go through forest south. Or... I don't know really. Should we risk it? Should we risk that? Uh, we might not even reach that point. <laughs> Let's not worry about things which we might not even reach. Let's cross the bridge when we get there, literally. Speed up, speed up. like a pro that's more like it now you can really hear the engine growling but I think I am a bit scared about that upcoming bend Let's try and slow down here a bit idle maybe give our engine some space cool down just a little bit how fast does it cool down anyway yeah it is cooling down quite quickly that's good this is so convenient having that map there instead of having it like like that like that it's a bit weird would be nice if I can paste this somewhere nearby though but nah, that's fine I can easily zoom in Good. Now, do we go left or do we go right, guys? Let's go right. Let's go explore a different route. Let's be a bit adventurous. Oh man, that's a steep climb. That's a steep climb. Good thing the weather is good. The weather is always good in this game. <laughs> when they start introducing like weather. I'm dreading what that will add, the, the complexity that will add. And I think this is going downhill, seems like. So I slow down, let the speed pick up on its own. Actually, it doesn't seem like it, I'm actually slowing down. Not really downhill, huh? balancing it we're balancing it as much as I want to I don't really speed up that much do I I'm too scared too much of a scaredy cat okay now there we go you can hear the rails I'm trying to really fight it out stick stick with it Okay, upcoming junction, we should make sure to turn right, although honestly either way we would get there, but the more exciting path is the right one. Maybe let's leave it to fate, whatever the default value is, nah. Oh 
my, that's high. Come on. Are we actually wheel slipping? We were. Not anymore. Okay, good. that bit by bit we are slipping okay we should be turning right there I think that's the one could I see the junction please make sure we're going right we are going right okay that's good we need to change it then engine temperature still good speed is okay 25 kilometers per hour yeah let's go there why does that seem like a dead end is it yeah, we'll see soon enough we will see soon enough there we go smooth change in cracks Shoot that sharp goodness that sharp is super sharp okay we're good we're good we're good omg this is super scary <laughs> okay it's not a dead end that's good news uh, i'm not sure if i would regret this decision though in a bit okay let's leave it idle let it cool down for a bit. Actually, no, I cannot because it's uphill. Let's uh, rest the engine later when it's downhill. We should stop climbing soon enough because we've been climbing all throughout. Although, to be fair, we are going across a mountain pass, so maybe the only way is up. Hopefully not, otherwise we'll have to stop and cool down somewhere. And stopping on uphill? Probably not a very good idea, huh? slip you'll slip balance it out there we go hanging in there hanging in there I'm impressed by this guy our shunter can actually handle it six full cars of oil that's amazing. Goodness. Bravo. Now it's up to the driver to get us there. But at least we know in terms of power, the shunter can actually manage it. Yeah, we're good here. And yes, we are still climbing. We are still climbing and it's just getting steeper and steeper and steeper. Oh my goodness. And yeah, temps are not very good, but now I think we are leveling out. Now I'll rest the engine. Pull idle. Keep that speed. 30 kilometers per hour. And yes, we are climbing. Well, we are descending probably because the speed is increasing. But that's good. Bit of a balance. And I'm not going to slow down because I want to test if Barry, what Barry is saying is correct. If we can really go 40 without causing a problem like this. You know what? I'm scared. Just a bit of brakes. <laughs> I really cannot speed up too much. Too much of a scaredy cat. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the temps there. Engine temperature is A-OK. -okay. How much good rest can do to your body? Even to a train's body. Junction is not yet near. That's good. Slow down a bit. Uh, 
that should be okay. Less than 40 should be able to manage that, I think. I'm hoping. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, I think we can even speed up here. Speed up. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that bridge, guys. Look at that bridge. How can I take a photo of this beautiful view? Can I, like, jump somewhere? I don't know. Oh, I want to take a photo here. I think I'll have to make two without the photo, though. Otherwise, we can, I think, what I'll try to do, go to idle. And then jump off. Just get ahead like that. That is more than enough for me. Yes. Take a shot when it's closer. And go up again. Yeah, that works. <laughs> that works for me. Turn right on the next junction. Getting to 50 kilometers now. We haven't reached 60 yet though. I think we have at one point, but just for a few seconds. Junction remote, need to prepare right turn. I see something, it is right turn. Right? Come on. Detect it, please. There, it is right. Okay, good. We're good there. That seems a bit sharp, though. So try to slow down bit by bit. Stick to 40. Slow down, please. There we go, 40. Okay, just now cruise along. That should be quite nice. We're actually speeding up again. And it's uh, quite a big bend here. So maybe we need to slow down? I don't know. I don't know. I'm too scared to try now that we're this close. Maybe I should have been braver in the beginning. So if we fail, it shouldn't be too bad. But then again, I want to test out the limits of this, tra this train, rather. Because we probably won't be driving this again after we go to the Steam logo. So let's push it. YOLO! Is YOLO still used nowadays? I don't think the youngsters use that anymore. Is there a new term? Man, I'm getting old. Look at that beautiful bridge there. Even though it's getting cutting off, getting eaten by the mountain. We're actually like facing the other way and then we're going to loop around. Make it like a U-turn. This is quite interesting. We need to push it a bit because I am slowing down. Very steep slope here. Very steep grade for a train. So the lack of friction and stuff. It's not a very sharp turn though. I don't think so. At least not based on the map. Although there's a stone in front. <laughs> yeah, that kind of issue still hasn't been resolved. Unfortunately. Slow down, cruise along, beautiful. Yeah, speed up a little, we can handle, we can handle the speed. Push it. Yeah, from there this should be straight away, straight ahead, I think. So we should be able to manage that, I'm hoping. Okay, push it. Make it so. What was that thing? What was that uh, expression? Okay, we're good. I'm getting very nervous here. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Well, at least if we derail here, 
maybe we have a chance of still keeping on track because the tunnel is narrow so even if we bounce around maybe we get back on the tracks <laughs> is that too much to ask for maybe maybe speed up speed up so i'm hoping even if we derail if we jump to the nearest station we'll go to the harbor already is that the closest one well, actually the forest is still the closest one crap okay so maybe that doesn't work down 50 is more than enough because that series of bends doesn't seem very friendly maybe let's keep it at 50 here yeah be okay man traveling fast sure is nice isn't it i think we really have to slow down though because we are approaching a very sharp bend and i'm afraid how things will work with this one. Oh no the sounds guys sounds okay we're down to 40 we should be stable again once i start hearing those sounds i get really nervous i think it's right before the point of derailing <laughs> okay yeah that, i think we, we we slowed down just in time there brakes brakes are good slow down a bit more oh crap oh crap Why is, it, why is it making that sound? Don't scare me like that. Goodness. Okay, uh, how close are we? Eh, not too close. And we are approaching the scary parts. So maybe I keep it at 30. Uh, let's keep it at 40. Unless the sounds scare me again. Let's keep it here, okay? So went down just a tad. Right. There we go. How about that thing? Speak basically cruising in here. Shoo. Scary stuff. Please be gentle with me. Oh, that sound. One more. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's the worst sound yet. Slow down to 30. Is that safe, guys? That doesn't sound safe at all. I think Barry's just trolling me. <laughs> Let's give it here. A bit more braking. Okay, 30 it is. 30 it is. That's giving me too much of a headache. The stress is real. With those uh, clanky sounds. Maybe I should have watched some videos beforehand, huh? to make sure that what I'm going to do is safe so I know the safe speed safe safe limit yeah, it's kind of hard here because you're on your own signals are not a thing normally you would get some guide with the signals knowing what is the safe limit maybe if you drown out the sound with the engine you won't be as scared <laughs> but I don't think I'm that brave to try at all. We've gone so long, we've gone so far. Look at how far we've gone from the oil well central all the way here. I don't want to lose all that, but yeah, let's try to skirt the edges of our limits. But let's not try to leap over in one go because that will also make the train leap over and we don't want that. Or maybe you guys want it, but I don't. 
Don't you wishing on a disaster on me. Slow, slow, slow. As you go. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. <sighs> that sound. Is that bad or what? I'm only at 30 now. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Still hanging? Still have our cars behind? Yeah, kind of. Yes, let's keep it here then. Let's keep it here. Oh, my goodness. Should be a relaxing trip, but apparently not. Oh no. Approaching this a bit too fast. Those clanging are uh, getting more and more. <laughs> Scaring the heck out of me, to be honest. Oh, I can't focus anymore. I'm too scared. Take the controls from me. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I quit. Can I stop here? Can I just walk the rest of the way? Oh my goodness! Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I'm brave enough for 60 kilometers. I'm sure that will fly over the rails if I do that, with the sounds it's making. Seems like it's going to go off at any moment. Okay. Oh crap! Look at that. Shaking all over the place. Yeah, I think this is the limit. I think that is the limit right there. If it's shaking like that, that's not a good sign, is it? With a cab like shaking left and right like that. I think that's its way of telling you're very close to derailing. A little bit more, and off you go. To the river. <laughs> the next junction is still far away. Still have a long way to go and I think it's starting for uphill, which is a bit harsh on the power. And the fuel we have is actually almost halfway consumed. Wow, that's scary. That's scary. <laughs> it actually run out? No, no, we're more than halfway through. Unless this is all uphill, I think our fuel should be okay. Oil is good. Sand is perfect. Brakes are okay, temperature is good. Yes, let's proceed. Alright, keep it at 30. We can handle 30. Maybe we can even handle 40. Yeah, maybe at this point we can handle 40. We've gone across the, the very zigzaggy tracks there. This is supposedly evening out already. But you never know, right? You never know. But still. I'd want to test my limits. Just go close to the edge and just step over bit by bit to extend those limits. We've been doing a pretty good job so far. Why stop there? Yeah, that should be good. 40. Starting to hear something. Start easing off on the throttle here. that how about that yes so far so good nothing of that uh, rail clanging sound only the wheels grinding which should be a healthy sound as long as it's not excessive good here proceed speed up and we slow down later on the next bend there we slow down there apply a bit of brakes so by the time we get to that junction not really junction but that bend near the tunnel 
we are at 40. I'm hearing this, uh, the, the scary sounds again, guys. Oh, I think this is the end. No, 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 no. Believe, believe. Believe, we will hang tight. We will stick in there. Oh, crap. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Okay. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. One more sharp bend coming. By the brakes. Yeah, who knew, huh? Driving trains could be more stressful. Some people think driving trains is simple because you just have to go forward or back. You cannot even steer like when you were driving a car. So how hard could it be? But if you play this game, you'll know how hard it can be. And we're only starting. This is the easy mode, right? The beginner mode. You haven't even tried Steam Locos yet. With all the different steps that you have to do. I think you'll need the lighter, the shovel, all that stuff. Don't even know how that works, but yeah, one step at a time. Hopefully by next episode we can do that because we'll be har in harbor and down. So if we fail here, yeah, I'm sure we'll get transported into harbor and down. So even if we don't earn anything, we'll still have access to the Steam Loco. So that's a good thing. Just hope I remembered right. That's the one. That's the harbor. The junction is approaching. Um, yeah. And we have to remember to turn right. Maybe tap on that a bit. There's the junction, I think. Looks like it. Some stones in front. Nah, our train can handle that. Just plow through it. Roll through it without any problem whatsoever. Okay, let me have a look. Where is that junction? Where are you? There you are. Okay, now we have to locate the right pixel. That is turning right though. Yeah, that's that's actually good. Okay. Now yeah, we're good there. And we can actually speed up just a bit. That's our destination, we can see it already. Just a bit more. Come on, you guys can do it. Car's still there. Still not six cars there. Okay. Nothing got derailed at the moment. I hope not. Okay, keep it at 30. Final stretch, guys. Final leg. I'm not sure if... I probably won't get that bonus, though, but... I'm happy enough just to make it in one piece with these six cars. It's going to be massive income in case we make it. <laughs> That's still a huge if. Okay. Should be good there. Should be able to handle 40 in here. I assume at least the bends don't look too stressful maybe that's a, uh, a trick come on step it up step on it well in this case push on it so you got you guys if you think that we're still driving this a bit slow let me know and you can try to speed up again but you'll have to give me the, the speeds that are safe and I'll trust you because from these sounds it doesn't sound safe anymore especially with that clanging sound we get sometimes so I'm not sure if we should push on maybe I should do an experiment I'll probably do like an offline video I'll probably do a behind the scenes video, just speed test, you know, until when is the, the, the proper speed to derail or right before derailing. Yeah, I'll probably post that in the, uh, the Patreon. I do have that now. I do post the, some behind the scenes videos because some, some videos are not very YouTube friendly 
in terms of too faily, too catastrophic. So not many people will enjoy it, but some of the patrons will enjoy. And uh, that's a bit of a thank you from my end for their support. So if you guys are interested in joining the Patreon, patreon.com slash the clumsy geek. Oh, oh crap, went going there a bit too fast. There's also a link to the video description in the video description to Patreon. You can check it out. I actually have a promo ongoing now. If you become a Patreon for at least even in the lowest tier, the $1 tier, you will gain access to the behind the scenes videos for this month only. So if you are interested, check it out and I'll see you there. And uh, wish me luck when I do that speed test because I'm afraid as early as now. But I think it will be beneficial, you know, experimenting with the speed. And maybe I can do some offline videos as well to practice on the steam train. So that by the time I make a video, it will not be too catastrophic. It will not be too, uh, too faily. Right, so where are we taking these guys? Um, where are we taking these guys? This one is going to... I-07 and this one is going to... Both of them are going to I-07. Perfect. Okay, that's easy. Um, now we have to enable the station map. Plop that down there. We are coming from the west. Oh, we're here. I-07 is... Left, left, right. Okay. Slow down, bro. Getting too excited there. Getting too excited there. There we go, that's one. Not not the wallet. Left. Uh left. And then right. Yes, I think so. Left, left, right. Yes. Okay, good. And that should lead us to I-07. If I read that correctly, at least. And we are here. We made it in one piece. Maybe not as fast as I would have hoped. But it was too scary otherwise. Okay. Left here. Don't crash into that thing, whatever that is. And then right on this one. Oh crap. Should we actually cr go to the other side? Doesn't it fit here? Oh yeah, you have to go to the other side again. I always make that mistake. I always make that mistake. Okay, fine. Go backward. Go the other way. So we should go straight on here and then reverse onto I-07 even with trains there is a thing as such as a thing as parking correctly so where is the straight track actually this one I guess not this one to the right that one more yeah because this one has a car there beep beep So, should be, okay, left and then straight, was it? Let me see. Okay, that's where I should be headed. So that should be left there, that's good. But I need another junction over here, which makes me go to the right, this one, yes. But I should click on that only if I am beyond the limit already. I think that's good. Okay, that looks good. Stop, please. Thank you. Remove the brakes. Set throttle and now we go center. Right? 
and we're moving. Doesn't feel so heavy anymore. Seems like our shunter is actually like working out, getting his muscles strong. Doesn't feel as heavy. Feels like normal now. Or maybe I'm just getting used to the weight. Maybe that's more like it. Okay, we, we go straight and then we go straight all the way until we reach that main bend. Yeah, we go to the to the east exit here and then we reverse onto I-07. That's how it should be. Okay. Speed up just a little more. That's where we should be going, I believe, with other cars. Or is it? Um, wait a minute. Wait a darn minute. Am I reading this right? Well, I hope I am. Uh, because coming from the west, right? I-07 should be on the left, yeah. So now coming from the east, I-07 should be on the right. 08. Ah, crap, I'm, I'm reading this wrong. No, 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 no. I'm reading this wrong. You know why? I probably realized because I am on the wrong station. OMG. <laughs> I-07 is on the right, actually. Alright. My bad. Cancel anything you heard. Okay. Wait a minute. I-07 from the east this time should be on the left. Okay. Alright, but that's good. That's still good. I think we still need to reverse it in any way. Okay. Just go forward until we don't see that anymore. And now we can stop, I think. Good. Let me go out and check, double check first. Alright, let's see. So we go left here. Right, okay, we go left. So we go through here. And then we go left again. And then we go right. Yeah, and this should be I-07. Yes. Okay, I got it. I got it. That's the one. Actually, we could have just gone straight. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Didn't need to reverse this time. Oh, well, that's fine. That's part of the challenge, right? Ah. Wouldn't be exciting otherwise. Okay, go. Reverse. 20 kilometers should be safe. Thing is... Man, it's heavy. Pushing from zero momentum. Yeah, that requires a bit of build-up. But we are starting to move. We are starting to move. Are we? Yes, we are. Okay, and the thing's there. Still set up correctly. Yes, okay, good. Just going to trust that the settings I did were accurate because this is blindside. Probably cannot do this in real life, huh? Okay, I'm going left. Slow down there. Going left again and then going right. 10 kilometers shouldn't be catastrophic. I really like that word. It's a word of the day. I like that word, but I don't like it happening to me. It's a train. Super quiet. Turning right this time onto I-07. Over here. We are headed the right way. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Okay. Okay, that seems to be... Okay. okay Can actually speed up just a bit Placing it pretty good Man, that would have been such a disaster, huh? Good thing I realized not too late That I could actually I was actually in the wrong page on the station map. Okay, is that good enough? No, one more. This is I-07. Yes, I think that's good enough. 
buy some bricks. Let's get our stuff. Have a look. Everything in the track, yes, good. Okay, perfect. So now we can actually detach. Okay. And now can I uh, submit this? Where's the station thingy? There. Let's see if that works. It worked. That is how much? 12,000. Kaching. And one more. Kaching. One hour. Took us one hour. Dang. Yeah, that's not very good, huh? No penalties though. No time bonus either. Yeah, I really need to step up on the speed factor. But safety first. Safety is the number one priority. And now we have... How much? 47,000. Man, we're rich. Man, we're rich. That feels good. Alright, let's buy the uh, instructions for the Steam logo and the Steam logo. Let's unlock it itself. What the heck is an old Bob's garage key? That's 65,000. I don't want to know. Unlock jobs with longer trains. 10 cars long. Wow. Yes, let's get that. Let's get that. Let's go shopping. That's 28,000. Let's buy everything. Insert wallet to pay. Okay. Let's buy. How much do we have left? 19,000. We're still rich. Have a nice day. There we go. Quick guide. Right, we'll need that. Steam locomotive license. Perfect. And uh, how do we get this now? Longer trains. Oh. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Um, where? How do we unlock the steam train? Where do we get it from? Is that like replacing our train here? No. No, th that's it. This is the one, right? So now we have a shunter and we have a steam loco together. Oh yeah, I think Barry mentioned we can couple them together. But I don't think we want that. I think we want just a steam train for now. Look at that beauty. Goodness. Yeah, so next episode for sure, we will be going with the Steam Loco and in the meantime, I will be practicing, I will be posting my videos in the, <laughs> the behind the scenes videos in my Patreon if you're interested in joining. Go and check out the link, patreon.com slash geek. If not, then I'll see you in the next episode. No worries. But thank you for watching and uh, I expect a lot of mishaps on the way. Hopefully by the time I record an episode, it will be smooth. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a nice day, guys. Catch you in the next one. And please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, comment, share with your friends, all that stuff. All right? Thank you. Bye-bye. And clumsy training. We did it. Steam local for the win. Thanks and bye-bye. Let's, let's go in. Let's go in. Just so give you guys a treat. Woohoo! Look at that. Yeah, I have no clue how these things work. So we'll have to study it bit by bit. But we do that next episode. That's just a, just a teaser. <laughs> Thank you for watching and bye-bye.